If you were going to create a universe for nothing, now let me remind you, we've got, this is the kind of nothing I'm talking about. No particles, no radiation, no space, no time. Nothing. If you were going to create a universe from nothing, what would it look like? It would look like the universe in which we live. Now, does that prove our universe came from nothing? No, but it makes it plausible. And that, to me, is worth celebrating. That it's plausible to create a universe from nothing, and you don't need God, and you don't need God, and you don't need God to do it. Now, you might say, if you're perverse, that that's not nothing. If there are many different universes, and the energy empty space can vary in each universe, it's a random variable, then only those in which it's not much greater than what we measure today will galaxies form, and only then will stars as planets form, and only then will astronomers form. So the universe is the way it is, because there are astronomers here to measure it. it sounds ridiculous. It sounds almost religious. It's not. It's kind of a cosmic natural selection. You wouldn't expect to find yourself in a universe, living in a universe in which you couldn't live. You'd be quite surprised. Then we don't need a theory of everything, we just need a theory of anything. Well, we have such a theory. It turns out there could be 10 to the 500 different universes, depending upon how you compactify the extra dimensions, and one of them, at least, is guaranteed to look like ours. Because the laws of physics are different in every one. Is this science? I mean, if you could predict, if you could explain any universe, then you can't falsify the theory. And by the way, that's the second of the two things I wanted to remind you of. First, you're insignificant, and second, the future is miserable. The very question, why is there something rather than nothing, is not the interesting question. Why questions are not interesting. Why questions aren't even questions. Because why questions presume purpose. And so, as we look out at the night sky and remember the fact that you are insignificant and the future is miserable you shouldn't be depressed you should be excited because here we are at this random moment in time 13.7 billion years after the big bang in this random place in the middle of nowhere but we're endowed with a consciousness which has allowed us to ask these questions and learn about the evolution of the universe back to the first second and to the far future so instead of being depressed you should enjoy your brief moment in the sun. Thank you very much.